Okay, so you can see the frets. That's not really where. It's uh, just the discoloration where the, the nickel of the string meets the nickel of the fret and causes that chemical reaction. And I'm going to polish it up using steel wool and the Nomad Frying Fret Polishing System. I'm going to make it as quick as I can so you can see the difference before and after. So we're going to use the fret guard and place over a fret. I'm going to use the steel wool. And I'm going to just buff out the fret just to remove the discoloration and to shine it up. Gets rid of any light burring that could have happened with the string. Now normally I would tape off the entire fingerboard, but so you can already see the difference with the steel wool as opposed to not having the steel wool. All right. Now I'm going to take the fret polish and before the guys at Nomad offered this to me, I used just regular chrome polish. Did for years and it worked great. Okay, so we're going to put some on a rag. Take our fret guard again to our fret. Like I said, I would normally tape off the entire thing, but really wanted to show you before I got started. You apply the polish on there, you rub it out. Ugh, look at that rag, all yucky. Rubbing it real good. Remove the guard. I clean the guard after every time. Going to take and remove the excess. Like that. And then, in case there's any building up on the edges, I like to rub that off. There you go. And I'll take a, a much cleaner polishing cloth and I'll buff it out. And this is what it looks like after. You can tell the difference right there. Before and after. Nice and shiny. The strings sound better. It feels better when you bend and fretting. And there you go. Four minutes long. I just wasted four minutes of your day. Congratulations.